we talk about cantilevers, I um, think that everybody assumes that from the uh, prosthetic viewpoint, uh, it's um, a given that when you have this situation like this, as uh, Ed showed us, we can all do it. And uh, as I will show you in a moment, one tooth cantilever uh, it seems to be an, uh, an acceptable uh, or an accepted practice. I know this is supposed to be partial dental patient, but I will show you some also that when you extend the cantilever, uh, how things are a little bit different in terms of uh, the uh, fabrication um, and, and the uh, long-term outcome. But there is also another aspect of a cantilever, which is situations like this one, where you have a short implant with a long crown. That is also putting a, a, a little bit of uh, uh, additional forces. And, and I would like to um, uh, kind of make the round on this lecture by um, assessing these three situations in where uh, the implant prostodontic uh, um, complex is as under occlusive forces or masticatory forces. Right? This is what it's all about here. And, and how can you translate that into a clinical decision for um, uh, future patients? Um, in order to understand that, um, we need to uh, define uh, what is called the uh, crown to implant ratio. And, and a cantilever is not other than a laterally increase crown to implant ratio, right? So you're hanging a tooth from uh, the implant, instead of going vertical, you're going laterally.